Sanmonani Jumelang Nijani eh Sipilile. Well, it's a uh, Tuesday day after uh, Christmas Boxing Day. Oh no, yeah, Boxing Day. Yeah, so we are back. We are here. Uh, baby Sklubanga. Ah, uh, Sklubanga we baby. What have I done now? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a vlog that I released today. You're probably going to get this video late, but you will know the video that I'm talking about wherein we went to Venda and we were um, uh, a pastor bay was cleaning my mother's, um, what is it called? Tombstone. A uh, few of the people did comment on it. Some said that, yeah, I got a good man that could clean my mother's tombstone. And some said that, uh, who was it? I forgot her name, but yeah, she's she's our number one fan, that one. Uh, she was saying that I should also stop talking about Lawola because <laughs> you taking care of Lucky and cleaning my mother's tombstone, it's a Lawola enough. But I just wanted to take this time, even though I've said it before, um, behind the camera i think on the day that it happened i did uh, speak to pastor bay and i also do want to appreciate him publicly guys shudu is a clean man he does not like getting his hands dirty when i gave birth to our son we had a whole fight because he didn't want to put lotion on the baby's body because he didn't want to get his hands dirty he didn't want to wipe the baby's face mucus because he didn't want to like that's how clean he is what do they call them? OCDs? Now, something now, like now that. You're, you're, you're turning this thing. People are going so, to say other no, things. I want, yeah. to, I want to get to the point. So it was a whole discussion wherein I had to teach him or tell him that uh, bathing your own child is not getting your hands dirty. Like cleaning your own son is not getting... Like he does not want dirt. Even his space, he wants a very clean space. He doesn't like getting his hands dirty. And watching him clean my mother's tombstone when my own brother as well the one whose mother is the one that was lying there, not cleaning it, or even me, me myself, I just um, sussed the dust nyana there and there, but you could see that 99% it was Pastor Bay that was cleaning my mother's tombstone. For me, I do appreciate it because I know it takes a lot for him. Pastor Bay would never just get it. Even at his own house, where his mother could say, come and do one, two, three, it would be a big deal because that's how, he doesn't like that. He's like, even my youngest son, he doesn't like, he doesn't want anything, you know? So I, I just want to say I really appreciate what you did. And I know that you were laughing there, but you, we did speak about it. He was emotional. He, Pastor Bay had a very good relationship with my mother. They had a very good relationship. Should I say that you were also owing her? <laughs> yeah, they had a relationship to a point where they would lend each other money. They, they would speak like friends. They would call each other stupid. Dodo. <laughs> That's how my mother used to say it, Dodo, it's stupid in my language. So even him cleaning the, 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 the tombstone after that, he was not okay. He did say how he was feeling, was very emotional. But it takes a lot for Pastor Bay to do that, and I really, really appreciate it. I, 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 don't, I, I don't take it for granted, just seeing a person cleaning my mother's tombstone. It was, it was beautiful to watch, and thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, baby. I don't want to look at you because I'm getting emotional. I can see. Like, like the whole, the whole, I'm living that experience. For me, that was, like, for me, it carries, it reminds me of every, every single day from the day that we met up until to date. Like, everything that I've went through um, with you guys um, from, from the time that she left. The family, extended family. I relive all the memories in a good way and also in a bad way but yeah it, it's it's always emotional even even when i think of it when i go there even the second the first time we went there second time however many times we've gone there it's always an emotional thing even though i i try to hide it behind the jokes and stuff like that yeah. but yeah it's a pleasure let's let's leave it there no we're not leaving it i'm 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 i'm, I'm continuing with so, what baby ladies and gentlemen hey, those, I, this is not this is not this is the video for it baby you, i dedicated you, it for that you will appreciate that's why i sent that comment one of the comments that we're talking about it on the group so pastor bay when my when my mother passed away right um that was the beginning of us getting into debts because he had to assist with the burial and immediately after the burial, we had to take my brother to, I'm just saying to those who don't, maybe don't know our story, but I just also feel like talking about it because it's festive seasons and this is the time we're in, you know, if you do not have parents or you don't have a mother, you know how it feels like, you know, you, it, it's not just a normal day. You wake up and you're thinking about your parent, you're thinking about your mother. So, but um, honestly speaking, I don't know what would have become 
of me and my brother had it not been for him. Many people never understood. I also did not understand why we got married at such a young age without even telling anybody. But yes, my mother knew. <laughs> we had, she found out that we, we got married. But we got married at a very young age. I was 19. I think he was 21 in secret without telling anybody. And even when my mother found out, she was angry for like five seconds. But because already they used to speak, she knew the kind of man that he was. So the day that I went to the hospital, when I got a phone call that it's bad, you have to come back home, I draw, I went, no, I used the public transport, but I didn't have a car. I went all the way to Zanin, and when I got there, when I got there, my mother couldn't recognize me. So I kept saying, Mandindibu, Mandindibu, meaning Mandindibu, mom, it's Ndibu, you know? So... <laughs> So the people that she was with, she was sharing a word with, immediately when, when they had the name Dibu, all of them woke up and they were like, we want to see, they were speaking in Sutu, they speak Sutu in mm -hmm. Yeah, they were speaking in Pedi. Sutu. Oh. Pedi, yeah. So uh, uh, Slovedu, Slovedu, yeah. Slovedu, yeah. And I was like, why this? And they, they say, and they said that your mother said, now she can finally rest in peace. She can finally take her last breath. She can finally die because she knows that Ndibuwa and Lagi will be well taken care of by Shudu. They also know Shudu and they were asking, where is Shudu? Because she said Ndibuwa can never come here without Shudu. But unfortunately, due to some unforeseen circumstances, Shudu was not there. But, was that's, yeah, but that's how my mother treasured my relationship with Shudu, even though... Even the way that it started and her finding out the way that she did, that we got married differently, she was still happy. And she also, those were the last words that she said when she was in clinic telling the word, people at the ward that I can finally die because I know that my kids will be well taken care of. And her dying and leaving me and Lucky behind, I was not working, I was still a student, Lucky was still a learner. He had to take the responsibility of not only being my husband, but being my father and my mother at the same time. That's where in he started, he even started getting into debts because we got to realize that even government school in Gauteng, you have to pay school fees. We had no idea. So he had to take the loan to bury my mother. He had to take a loan to take my brother to school and then take another loan for our wedding story for another day. But um, that's just a summary of what we went through. And uh, with the comment about the Lobola, the Lobola thing is always a joke. We've spoken about it that I could have never... Uh, allowed my husband to lobola me after everything that he did him taking care of me and then adding on another person who was my brother and also bearing my mother that was enough lobola for me and I, I will never take that for granted and I really 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 appreciate it I'm sure this is the first time that people are watching you and you are so quiet that's why I don't like doing these kind of videos because yeah but yeah, it was a beautiful and emotional moment for the three of us that went there. And we are for someone that said, why didn't we take the kids? Unfortunately, we wanted to allow them to bond with their cousins because we were only in Venda for like two days, if not one. So we didn't want to take that away from them. And it was but, too early, man. It was and it was too early. We early. left very, very sleeping. early. They were still sleeping. But even if they were not sleeping, we know that they would rather, you know, spend time there. But we have taken them there. We have taken Theo there before. Ethan was there as well. But, oh, yeah, he was, he was yeah. there, yeah. He was just, yeah, he was still a baby. So we have taken them there before. But, yeah, next time we'll definitely go with them. Even though Theo as well watched the video with you guys today when I published it. And there was a point where in Pastor Bay said, my bam bam was smelly. And I just heard him cracking up saying that, ha, ah, mommy's bam bam is smelly, you know. And he was also emotional when he was seeing the, um, the tombstone asking, oh, so this is your mom. And then he, funny enough, he asked me, where's your mom's mom? I'm like, she's also there. And then she saw, and then he saw the, the tombstone as well. She's like, so, and he's like, daddy is blessed, isn't And I'm like, why? He was saying it there by the salon. He's like, no, daddy has a mother and a father. You don't have. But yeah. Anyway, I do have a mother and a father who is his mother and his father because they accepted me as their, as their child. They refused to call me Makoti or Majwari. They call me their daughter. So I do have a mother and a father. I want it to be. I know. And that's yeah, it for now. Do, I don't know how we're going to do gossip because we have to step to gossip on the next. <sighs> Bye. Bye. You can get up. It's your way. Yeah, I, I'm getting up. It's fine. <laughs>